Hi, this is Kalia from Crafting on the Fly, and today I'm going to show you how to crochet this hexagon granny square crop jacket. And we're starting with some Premier Puzzle yarn. It's a bulky 5 yarn and an 8mm hook. Starting off with a magic circle. And then you just make sure that you get it the right way. And... Starting with three chains into the circle, then you're gonna do a double crochet and another double crochet, and that's your first um, set of three for the hexagon. So we're doing six, six of six sets of that because that makes a hexagon. So chain one and then another three double crochet into the loop and there you got two and then chain one another set of three double crochet into the loop it's number three chain one and now we need three more sets of that. So I'll make this a little bigger for now. That's another three double crochet. Chain one. So one, two, three, four. This is another set of three double crochets, chain one, and one more set of three. And that will give you the six um, sets of three double crochets and uh, single, I mean, a chain in between. So once you have that, all six of them, make sure that you get that and you have the chain space in between. You can tighten up that magic loop, chain one, and slip stitch to the start there. That's your first round, and then just again chain three, and then double crochet back into that last um, chain space. Just two double crochets, so you have your first set of three there because that uh, three chain space counts as, and then you already see how when you flip it over, you get your one half of the jacket. So then you're moving on to the next uh, chain space and then three double crochets into that chain space. Chain one and another three double crochets into that same chain space. So those will give you the corners. So all around, all six um, chain spaces that you have, you're gonna do uh, three double crochets, a chain space, and another three double crochets. And that's gonna establish your th six corners. So there is your second corner with the three double crochets, chain space, and three double crochets. So you already got those two. Moving on to the next chain space. So three double crochet, chain space, and three double crochets. So you just have to make sure that you really establish those six corners in the beginning. And then you just um, build round after round on that one. Thank you. 
And the good thing is with this bulky yarn, your um, jacket really is going to build up so fast. I actually uh, made mine in under three hours. And with the type of construction I used, it's also, you don't have to do any sewing together. So here are your six corners and just going back into that last uh, or first chain space, you're doing another three double crochets, then chain one and slip stitch to those uh, beginning three chain spaces. And now you can see all six corners and see how it wobbles because it's too much if you flatten it out, but if you close it up, this one would be the wrong way because you have these pointed areas, so that wouldn't work. But then you just move it over a little bit. Let me see here. Going like that, and there you can see how it looks like a tiny jacket. You have the little arm and the bottom there, and that's just the one half of the jacket. And then you're gonna do a second one just like that. <coughs> First half <coughs> and crochet them together. So for the next one, again, three chain spaces and then three uh, double crochet into that uh, last chain space. And then moving on to the next uh, chain space, or it's actually not a chain space, it's just the in between those corners. That's why you're just going to do three uh, double crochets. And then into that chain space, the corner actually, that's where you're going to do six, I mean, the three uh, double crochets, a chain space, and another three double crochets. So from now on, that's all. You're only going to do those sets with the three. Uh, double crochets, a chain space, and three double crochets into the corners, those six corners, where you have that chain space. So you can see them stacking on top of each other, um, but not. So in between there, where it's just an in between the sets of um, three uh, double crochets and not a chain space, that's where you're just going to do three double crochets. And then moving on to the chain space again, you are doing the three double crochets, a chain space, and the three double crochets. So you're only doing those in the corners where they stack up. And with each round, you're going to have more in-betweens where it's just the uh, three double crochets moving on to the next space there between the three double crochets below and uh, adding another three double crochets into that. So the more rounds you have, the more spaces you have like that in between. And that's how the whole sweater goes all around. Finishing up that row quickly. <laughs> and back to the start. There you can see it growing already. And then if you turn it together, uh, the sweater is getting bigger and bigger. So you're going to add as many rows as you need actually to um, get it to fit nicely over your arm the way you want to. I want to make this really a cropped sweater and I mean really more tightly around my arm, just a little balloon arm. So here you can see how in between, now I have two uh, uh, of those sets of just uh, three double crochets along the edge and just in the uh, corners, I'm doing the three double crochet chain one and another three double crochets just to really get around that corner. And it just continues that, like I said, as many rounds as you need. And here we are. Start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm working on my tenth one. So for me, and it's probably a small, medium size, I started here with my tenth row. 
around actually since it's going round and round and went all the way around and just stopped right before my last um, edge there so all five edges I did and now just the last one is missing like I said this is for my arm size and now I'm going to combine the two sides with that last row So right along here. And you want to do that also, like put them together so that you're going to end up on the arm side. So it's just a slip stitch then together. And then um, do the three remaining double crochet into the corner there. So I did three double crochets and then just to end that edge there I left it with the three so you have the three then you combine it with a slip stitch with the other sides instead of doing a chain space and then adding the next three double crochets and now you're moving on to that next space there slip stitch to that And then add the next three double crochets into the next space there. On the side that we're still missing those, the last row there. And then moving on again, you're just gonna skip those three double crochets, go and do a slip stitch into that space, and then add the next three double crochets along the edge. And this way you're uh, mimicking the other side of that I'm gonna go all along the edge to the top and then you can see here how they're stacked on top of each other all the way to the end and now here we are at the end so if you would like to have longer sleeves you can continue doing the three double crochets in the spaces as a round but i'd like to have this as a really cropped little sweater since it's florida and i don't need it that bulky so i'm going to add the um, cuff right here So I'm going to chain six and then do a single crochet into the second chain from my hook and single crochet all along to the start. So that I have five single crochets there on that edging. And then I do a two together single crochet there just to give the cuff uh, that cinched feel and then a regular single crochet. And then we're going to skip those first two single crochets and just going to do a back loop single crochet into those five uh, single crochets that we built before. So all along there. You're doing four of the single crochets back loops and then into the last single crochet from the previous round you're just going to do also a single crochet so it's going to be a single crochets all along the edge of it and then chain one turn around single crochet into that first space there and then back loop single crochet into the next four and now we'll give you the nice edging. So it's already starting to go up and down there. And then along the edge there, you're going to do a two together, single crochet, and then a regular single crochet into the next one. Turn it around, and then skip those two single crochets and just go along the edge with a back loop single crochet so four again along the edge there and then a regular single crochet into the last one 
And then you repeat that all around. So chain one, turn it around, a single crochet into the first one, back loop single crochet into the next four. And then along the edge there, first you're doing the single crochet two together to give it that really cuff uh, tight feel and then a regular single crochet and turning around and this is how you see how it's really giving the, a nice edge along there. So once you've completed that nice edge to get that balloon shape for your arms, you're gonna add the edges together with a slip stitch there. And that's the edge. And cut off your yarn and there you have the nice arm already built and ready to go. So you have the two sides. I made a second one that's um, just the same for some reason. <laughs> my yarn really looked different there. But of course this is too tight for my uh, torso. So I have to add some more there in between to make this wider but still be the cropped. So I'm going to add another two rows here that go all around front to back and the same on the other side and then add some extra there so it's going to be yeah along there and then add some extra in between for the back so it's just starting off the corner there the front corner of one of the pieces you chain two or three and then also add two more double crochets into that corner so you follow along the edge there and then move on to the next uh, space with three double crochets Onto the next space again, three double crochets, and you're doing that all along the uh, edge, the front and the back. So it's like one big long line there. All the way to the other side. And then, of course, once you get to the center um, where you co connect it, the two sides, which is going to do three double crochet into that center space that's at the top of your shoulder and then moving on again just um, skipping those and going on to the next chain space or just the space that's there between the three double crochets so once you reach the other side just do one more double crochet into the last chain one in that chain one space and now to go up again chain three turn it around and they'll go into that same space there with another two double crochet to stack them above the row below and then again, just going along the edge there with the three double crochets into every space. So it's one more row of that. And you're doing that for both sides. And then here I am on my third row coming back again. You see those, there's the middle and I have those two rows and now I'm on my third row. I want to actually turn around because that's going to be your back row. So into that space, you're only going to do a single double crochet it's just one I mean one sing uh, one double crochet and then chain two or uh, three actually and then turn it around 
And that's going to be at the top of the shoulder where you connected them before. And again, do a th another two double crochets into that first space. And then keep along the edge there with the three double crochets into um, each space there. So this way you're going to have your third row going down and be only halfway for the back side. So see there's one, two, and then three, four, and I'm going to do a fifth one. So here I did that for both sides. I actually have those two rows that I did uh, for the front and the back. And then, as you can see, so one, two, and a one, two there. And then two more rows on this side and three more on the other one. So this one here, the third one, is going to be the one where I connect the back sides. So on that second half of the jacket, I only did the two rows and now with the third one I'm going to combine the two. So it's just like the same way as we did with the arms by doing the three double crochets there and then just connecting them in the chain I mean into that space with a slip stitch and then doing again three double crochets into the next space. So you can see that here, that they are stacked up again on top. Slip stitched to the other side and then three double crochets into the next space. Slip stitch into the next one and so on. So they're really stacked up until you're all the way to the top. And up here, I'm going to do one more slip stitch to the other side. And then just one double crochet into that last space. So this way it all connected. And while up here, now all that's left is an edging all around it. So it's just going to chain one up here and then do a single crochets all along, just an edge of single crochets. So two single crochets into that um, double crochet and then another two into the next double crochet. So all along where you see the that post of double crochets, you're just going to do two single crochets into that area. And then regular single crochets into each space. So along the, the, the three uh, double crochets there when it's really a real space, you're going to wait in that. And actually you don't do it in between there and really just along the real chains or, or the real loops that are open so that you get that nice etching there. And you're going to do that all the way, like I said, there's two, two, and then just one, 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 and um, skipping the in-betweens, which is not a real chain. So you're going all along the front edge there. And then once you make it to the bottom there, you're also going to do the you're going to one, two, to round that corner there for your edging, and then doing another one along the edge. So it's actually going to be three at the edge there f into that, what was it, chain three space. And now we're going to go along the bottom edge there. And I do also want that to be more cinched in so that um, it hugs you. So what we're going to do is, yeah, so that it really comes around like that, it's going to alternate between the regular well, first we're going to start with the uh, sides there. So one single crochet into that and then a single crochet into the next space. So the three, one and a single crochet there. And then we're going to do them again, decreasing two together. So bring them up and then just decreasing them like that. And then do a single crochet next. 
and into the next two, doing degreasing them. And then again, a single one, and so on. Just skip along all the edge, the bottom edge there. Do a single crochet, a two together, single crochet, a single crochet, two together, single crochet. It's just alternating like that, and that gives you that nice little uh, balloon shape there at the bottom as well. So all along the edge there. And then coming up on the other side. We're going to also have a single crochet into that and then three single crochets into that corner space. To round the corner again. And then along the edge all the way to the end just regular single crochets all along the edge. And if you like, you can do more rows of that. But I like like that, and that's the final product. It's nicely cropped. It goes perfectly over dresses, and it has a nice pattern. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial, and like and subscribe. Thank you very much.